everyone. Good afternoon. Today I'm at Bond Street, but not to go on the Jubilee line. Wait for the announcement to stop. The Elizabeth Line now serves this station as well. So today we're going to be looking at the brand new Elizabeth Line station, Bond Street, which trains pass through between Paddington and Abbey Wood. And this is my first look. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Yes, so the Elizabeth Line station at Bond Street opened on Monday the 24th of October 2022 and this is my first time visiting the station. We go to the Elizabeth Line sign on the left and through this lovely passageway. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it on the first day because I was on holiday in Oxfordshire. But today, Wednesday the 26th of October 2022, it's my first time to visit. So, I'm just walking through the corridor or hallway or passageway actually, to get to the Elizabeth line. We're going to be looking around the station and this is my first time coming to the Elizabeth line section, but I have been to the tube bit, which is on the Central and Jubilee lines. And this is very exciting. I went on the Jubilee line from St. John's Wood to Bond Street. And, and it was a very good ride. Two stops, Baker Street and then Bond Street. Three, two, one. We've arrived at the Elizabeth Line section. I love this bit of the Elizabeth Line, it's gorgeous. And then if we look on the left, it says reflect from your shadow, some lovely artwork. And then if we look on the right, it says from under the glacier. Do look out for these next time you visit Elizabeth Line station at Bond Street, the Elizabeth Line section. And then we're going on the longest escalator you can find on any Elizabeth Line station, the central section, at just around 255 meters. The next time you visit Bond Street Station, be aware that there are two entrances. One, which is called Davy Street, which is where we're going to right now, and the other, which is Hanover Square, which we'll go to later. We're going to the mezzanine level, but this is not really a mezzanine level. It's sort of like the ticket hall, but I call it a mezzanine level because, yeah. And also look out for the adverts that you can see on the Elizabeth Line. I love the adverts, they're really cool, but my favourite is the Elizabeth Line ones. So we just made it to the mezzanine level. So you get two entrances at Bond Street. One is Davy Street and the other is Hanover Square. Right now I'm at the Davy Street entrance. Um, but I don't know where the Hanover Square entrance is, but hopefully we might find it soon. But it's, look at the amount of space that's around here. It's just absolutely spectacular. I would recommend coming, a visit, coming to visit here if you want to have a look for yourselves. Right then, shall we go down to the platforms of the Elizabeth Line? Also, do look out for this lovely artwork called Horizon Line, which is displayed at the Davy Street entrance of Bond Street Station. We're now going to go down to the platforms. On the left, where the people are, is the passageway to the London Underground Central and Jubilee Lines. Always look out for the signs if you want to change to the London Underground bit of Bond Street. But we're going to the Elizabeth Line platforms. On the Elizabeth Line has the longest escalator you could even imagine between Paddington and Abbey Wood, the central section, at just around 255 metres and 30 degrees. I've heard all about this from this amazing guy called Jeff Marshall, linked to his channel in the description below if you want to check him out. He talks about trains, gives the history of the London Underground. He's just superb. We've made it to the Elizabeth Line platforms now and I'm gonna hang out there. I'm on platform A where trains head to Abbey Wood and soon we'll head to Shenfield. Just as a helpful guide, if you want the Davy Street entrance, you will need to head on the right. And if you want the Hanover Square entrance, you will need to head over to the left. And here on the tube map now marks that the Elizabeth line shows Bond Street. Whoopity doo. Right then, we're now gonna be talking about the services, the service pattern. So on Sunday, the 6th of November, 2022, through services from Abbey Wood um, to Reading and Heathrow Airport will commence. And that means the service pattern will be that services between Abbey Wood to Reading and Heathrow Airport, two separate things, 
are going to be operated to seven days a week, not six days a week from Monday to Saturday anymore. It's going to be from Monday to Sunday. That's very exciting. So that means I can go on the Elizabeth line whenever I feel like it on the weekend because I have school a lot. You don't have to agree. The platforms are so boring because they look like the same as any other station you would see on the purple line, like, or purple train, Elizabeth line, whatever you want to call it. Like for example, at Farringdon, it kind of looks like that. The difference is that the signs say Bond Street. Um, there's some nice posters over there, such as that. Yeah, it says Bond Street. Uh, but overall, the, the station looks pretty nice. It opened on Monday the 24th of October 2022 just a few days ago. Today is Wednesday the 26th of October 2022 and I was on holiday so so sorry if I couldn't make it on the first open day. And you just saw me doing the James Bond, James Bond trend because you know as it's named Bond Street so many James Bond people, 007 you know people dressed up as James Bond wanted to do that for fun. The next time you travel on the Elizabeth line do look out for these lovely adverts that display on the platform screen doors. What I also love about the Elizabeth Line is how quiet the train is when arriving, as you can hear. This is why the noise level is sort of low a little bit, because on the, on the tube, it's very, very noisy. Whereas on the Elizabeth Line, it's so quiet. You can just, you know, calm yourself down. You know, it's not noisy at all. It's very smooth, the ride. No bumpy bits, some, but not a lot. Right then, shall we go to the Hanover Square entrance and see what it's like there? The next time you travel on the Elizabeth Line, just look at how huge the platforms are at just 260 metres long. Be aware that when you're on the Elizabeth Line platforms, the platforms are around 260 metres long. So if you're tired of walking, I would not recommend doing this, but I'm going to the Hanover Square entrance to check it out. There's a lot of things I want you to look out for the next time you travel on the Elizabeth Line, like how much space there is, the huge passageway. Also, look out for the totems. These are totems, the sign that says Bond Street on them. And I, don't, I can't explain what a totem is, but for someone who's an expert at what a totem is, do let me know in the comments below, because I would really love to know. Um, I do like how the roundels are not displaying on the platforms, but they do display on the platforms, they just display outside of the platforms, which is quite a nice touch. Also be aware 
that the Elizabeth Line has the longest escalators, not as long as Angel Station, which is on the Northern Line, but the escalators, as I did say, are 255 meters long and around 30 degrees at an angle. And we now approach the mezzanine level of Bond Street Station. And this is the Hanover Square entrance of Bond Street Station. And we've made it to the Hanover Square entrance. It's amazing. And this is where people started, um, what's the word? Oh yeah, well when the station opened, this is where all the fans came to, um, to start looking around Bond Street Station and to go on the platforms. This is the Hanover Square entrance. It's time to do the conclusion of this video, but I do challenge you to visit this station for yourselves. Thank you very much for watching this video at Bond Street. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. It will help the YouTube channel out as always. Personally, one of my favorite bits about the station is the two different entrances, but I also love how huge the station is. The artwork is just brilliant, as you can see in the background. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. And to celebrate me going to Bond Street Station, there's only one thing to celebrate. Three, two, one. for watching if you don't know who James Bond is James Bond is is a character in a movie called Skyfall you should watch that movie because it has a Jubilee line train in the film that's at the abandoned Charing Cross station that's that closed in 1999 because of the Jubilee line extension watch that film I, I haven't really watched it but I've only watched that scene and lots of people dressed up as James Bond because of Bond Street station opening day on the Elizabeth line thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Take care. Bye.